John? Yeah, S-H-A-W-L. Yeah, I had a, uh, set up a publication committee for the uh, Shippensburg Historical Society, and uh, I had uh, four other uh, members on that. I had uh, uh, John Fagg, who's a retired veterinarian, a World War II veteran, and uh, he helped me to locate pictures on the businesses in town and the transportation and so on. And, uh, uh, Dave Ferry, who's, on whose property what we think is now is Fort Morris, the two centuries no one knew quite sure where it was, but uh, we're pretty confident after digging there three summers that we found the site of the original fort. And it's on the property of uh, Dave Ferry, who uh, was responsible for choosing the, the Lachlan postcards and helping with the captions on those. And, uh, John McCorston was a president at the time when we, we started this, and he he worked on a chapter on the historic and unusual buildings in, in Shippensburg, and uh, my main effort in that direction was on the uh, military uh, activities of Shippensburg, primarily focusing on veterans of, of war through, uh, from the French and Indian down through Desert Storm. And, uh, uh, Gail, Gail uh, Runshaw was the one who did the scanning. Most of them came from the Historical Society. Uh, they have quite a collection. Uh, we have a couple thousand of the, the Lachlan postcards, which is the makeup of the first chapter. But Lachlan postcards are also used in other chapters as well because uh, Clyde has traveled all over the area taking pictures and he he would uh, develop them and then he put them on postcards. I mean, he did everything from taking the pictures to creating the postcards and selling them for a couple cents apiece. That's how he made his living for a long, long time. Alex Olmstead lived in an orphanage in Chambersburg. Joseph Allen of Shippensburg took him out of the orphanage to live with the Allen family. During the Civil War, Allen paid $300 so that Olmstead could serve in his place in the Union Army. Homestead served, and after his discharge, he returned to live with the Allen family. It was just a few years ago that a lady came into the Historical Society and, and told us the story of that, you know. That's interesting. Right here. And, uh, uh, a couple others now.